Dayton Public Schools is now one step closer to deciding the fates of several of its school buildings. Earlier today, a facilities task force brainstormed what to do with the buildings well below capacity. Two News reporter Katherine Ross has our continuing coverage. Today was the task force's final meeting before giving recommendations to the school board. Today, it established priorities and agreed to continue collaborating and staying engaged in the future of Dayton Public Schools. A lot of things have been uh, digested, thought through, and I think we just need to make sure that, that we make the best decision to serve our students. Since January, the task force has been digesting academic statistics, public feedback, and building tours. Today, the city presented more observations and ideas about the district's dwindling enrollment and underused schools. Among its suggestions, repurposing buildings for residential use, sharing space with community groups, or consolidating several schools. These are general comments that could be applied to most of these locations as we walk through them. The task force also provided its own suggestions. After breaking into smaller groups, members stressed the importance of giving students equal access to resources and weighing costs, staff, and geographical factors to promote academic achievement. It's not about a building. It's about the services that we provide to our students. I think that was the overarching theme. The public can still weigh in this Thursday during a 6 p.m. meeting at Meadowdale Elementary or another meeting next Wednesday. The superintendent expects a final decision by the end of March. Catherine Ross, 2 News, working for you.